Welcome back to Ride Control Ultimate. This is where we um, take a virtual ride like this, build it up, operate it. Now this is the ride I've been after from the beginning. This is the ride I wanted, the Tivoli Extreme, and in this episode we get it. So um, we'll take you to my farmhouse now. I'm on a beautiful farm. Yeah, ignore this. This is my Massey Ferguson tractor. This is how I afford all these rides, you see. I'm a, I'm a farmer by trade. So we're going to get in my pickup truck and we're going to drive over to where I store my rides basically and then we're going to pick up the extreme, drive it to the fair, build it out, then operate that sucker. So yeah, um, join me, shall you? <laughs> yeah, so this is my pickup job. If you want to know, this game is uh, Farming Simulator 2 uh, with mods. You can get fun fair rides in this game and like trucks, which is really, really cool. So this is where basically I store all my rides. There is my beautiful Pulse Miami. If you watched the first episode, you would have seen us build this up. It's, um, it's a beautiful machine, but we're not we're not touching this today. Even the uh, the license plate there says Fun Fair, which is pretty damn cool. Yeah. So with mods, Farming Simulator, you can get trucks, scanners. I've gone with a man here. Um, beautiful, beautiful truck. Just have a look at our Pulse Miami there, all folded away. Like I said, this this isn't coming out today. We've, we've done a video on that. Go check it out. So here is my beautiful truck and my Extreme. Yeah, this is a mod for the game, believe it or not. A farming simulator. It's a really, really good game, I think. I've not really played much of the game. I've just been using it for the Funfair mods. But here is our beautiful, beautiful man. Like me. Right. This is going to be tricky. Here's my um, cab. You get to see where I sleep there on the bed. I'll give you a little look around. The attention to detail is fantastic considering it's just a mod for the game. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and couple up. Couple up, couple up. I don't really know the term, terminology for that, but um, forgive me. So yeah, we've just got to try and reverse this bad boy in. Couple up. And then we will literally take our extreme to the fair and build her up and control that so yeah this is amazing absolutely amazing i'm having so much fun with with the gaming the fun fairs like this uh virtual ride free uh, ultimate ride control all of them really really loads of fun there we go that's attached and now we can uh, transport it to the fair and build it up. Yeah, um, you guys really seem to enjoy the last episode where we took a bit of me playing Euro Truck Simulator and I incorporated that into the game. Just made it a little bit different really, you know. Uh, yeah, so you guys seem to really enjoy that. So I've done the same with this episode here with me basically picking the ride up from the yard. And then we'll, we'll, um, we'll take it to the fair. So here we go, here's a really good uh, look at the extreme all folded up. Now you, you eagle-eyed viewers, you, you might notice later on that the extreme I'm building up is actually a different extreme. It's not this one, but this is the closest I could find. Uh, this is green, the other one's like blue. But little details, you'll forgive me for that I'm sure. So here we go. I keep drifting over to the left even though this is uh, an American map and I should be driving on the right. Technically, I'm just going to shut up and let you hear the uh, the beautiful engine sounds now of my man. Again, another massive shout out to Alan over at SAT Gaming Family for recommending Farming Simulator 2. I'm really, really enjoying what I'm playing so far. The mods are fantastic. There's so much you can do and get. This guy is right up my arse. Literally, he's parking in, in, the, uh, in the trailer. I'll just pull over and let him pass here. Impatient prick. Sorry about that. Bit of road rage. 
beautiful sight. We're pulling on. We're pulling on, mate. You hear that engine roar. What a beauty. What an absolute beauty. So yeah, there is other rides on Ride Control Ultimate. This isn't the end of the series. Um, there's a KMG Speed that I want to get possibly next after the Extreme. Now basically on the game I've, I've managed to afford this by just working the ride, saving up. And we've, we're, here, we're here by the way, we've, we've, we've pulled onto the car park, we've dropped our trailer off there, and then we'll build her up. Ready for the complete shift in graphics now. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of takes you out the uh, realism of it, doesn't it? But, uh, you know, oh well. Yeah, this is blue, but um, ignore that, ignore that. So, yeah, this is the extreme build up. Techno power, this one. I think it's based on a, uh, a French machine. I'm pretty sure it's a French extreme techno power. It, it's very similar to Fighter, the colour scheme of it. Right, I'm going to shut up and I'm, I'm just going to let. You, you watch the build basically without me talking crap over it. I'll let you watch the build and I'll pick up the mic work again when we operate the ride so you can enjoy the the sounds of the build and yeah.
And here we go, I hope you enjoyed that build up. Like I said, I remained completely silent so you could just enjoy it um, without hearing my voice. And here we go, we are in the pay box now. Quite a daunting control panel compared to the uh, the Miami and the um, Freakout. This has a lot of moving parts, so it's it's definitely more complicated to control. And this this first cycle here is me just testing out the controls. This is the first, you're seeing the first time I'm operating it, it's raw. So you have to bear with me on that one. I'm not very good. Get me higher. Right, here we go. My jingle box is working now. We've got that sorted. This is still the in-game music. I've not managed to upload any of my own MP3s yet, so potentially this could be copyright music. I don't really know. But here we go. That is the extreme. I love the back flash, the Marvel theme, and Hulk there in the middle. Again, I'm pretty sure this is based on a on a real Tivoli Extreme Technic Power. The name definitely rings a bell. So let me know in the comments. It's not an English one, I don't think. Well, I've, I've never seen it. I'm pretty sure it's French. I think most of the game, uh, most of the rides on this game are actually French. So here we go. This is me operating the Extreme. I love I love it when they do this. We call it the Superman cycle when just the arms spin. Ooh la la, another lucky winner. Yes, there we go. Look at these lucky, lucky riders. I, I envy them. I, I'm so jealous. I wish I was on that thing right now. I'm really missing the fares. Here we go. We're going to speed this bad boy up. See, so yeah, I know you can control the rides via the keys on the keyboard, but I, I quite like pressing the buttons. It gives it that more realistic feel to it, actually clicking physical buttons on the control panel. But it's, it's probably easier to use the keys because you can keep an eye on the ride at the same time. And then you, it avoids all that looking up, looking down, do you know what I mean, at the control panel. So I do need to get used to where the key placements are. What a beautiful machine. Uh, I will give you some nighttime footage in a minute when I when I get used to the controls we'll send it at night and we'll put on a bit of a show um, again my microphone skills haven't improved so you, you you have to bear with me I'm gonna get a little pen and paper and I'm gonna write a list of um, sayings down because every time I get on the mic I just say the same old crap Okay, let's go. Basically the same thing over and over and over again, so I need to make a list of stuff to say. Because I'm not a natural at this, believe it or not. Here we go then, this is a uh, star rating, which is three stars. It's so difficult. I've only ever got like five stars once on this game, I believe. Here we go, here we go. We're at night time now, and this is where the fun begins. This is where the party starts. This is where we take it to the next level. Let's excuse my language there. I was just playing with a microphone. <laughs> here we go. So we're going to send the arms right up. I'm still trying to get the grips with the controls, to be honest. I'm not amazing. But, I mean, it looks really, really good at night, doesn't it? This is my favourite ride of the bunch so far that I've controlled. Uh, the Miami was quite boring, to be honest. Then we did the freak out, which was fun. But this is definitely more more of a control experience because you do have so many elements to the ride literally yeah the individual gondolas turn plus the uh, the main motor goes left and right and plus like the like the, the arms elevate so there's a lot to kind of uh, work out and get to grips with but when when you do you can give proper really really good cycles unfortunately i haven't managed that yet because i haven't got a five star rating and maybe that's because I'm shit on the mic, maybe they're like, you know, not giving me that extra two stars because um, I'm my dog shit microscope, microphone skills, I don't know. 
So yeah, it's a really, really good um, ride to operate. But we're not going to stop here on the game. There's so many rides to operate. Obviously, I like to operate the rides I've, I've physically ridden before, like Extremes. Some of the rides on here I've never actually done in person, so I'm not overly keen about controlling them. Um, because I've never done them, so I really, really wouldn't know where to start in terms of uh, ride cycle. But we will be trying the KMG Speed next. I am working towards that grinding it as you can see in the top right corner my money is literally uh not very much uh, uh you know i bought this ride so we're out of pocket so i just need to get grinding get grinding and save those pennies I mean, at the time of recording this and trying to do the microphone work, Sam was in the living room eyeballing me. I was in the kitchen, the kitchen table playing it, and uh, I could, I could feel it. I could sense her eyeballing me, like, shut the fuck up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I was a little bit, uh, yeah, my, you know, I did hold back a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for an empty house, then I'm going to proper explode on the mic, proper get into it. without feeling like a like a twat basically so yeah um the next video will probably be the kmg speed or i might return to virtual rides and do do a video on that i'm not particularly too sure and um, the good news is you haven't got long to wait before the fairs are back so you will be seeing me back in person vlogging fun fairs i know what most of you want it does <laughs> it does seem actually every time i upload one of these gaming videos I have about 10 to 15 people unsubscribe, which is really odd. Um, I get it though, because this isn't the content you, you subscribe for. I completely get it. But, you know, it's one of them things. The vlogs will be coming back. It's just literally uh, close season. It's downtime. So, this is filling a void, in my opinion. I'm, I'm enjoying doing it, and I know there's a few of you that enjoy watching it. And you guys are awesome. You guys who watch it are bloody awesome you're my favorite just don't tell the others you guys are definitely my favorite and you know who you are the guys watching it and uh, please do like the video because that does help the video reach more people and then gain more subscribers and help the channel grow it's um it's as simple as that really that's all i ask of you guys just to keep watching a thumbs up and leave me a nice little comment as well because i do uh, enjoy reading them and i do reply to as many as possible And do let me know if you've been playing this game. I, I, I've seen quite a few comments of people downloading it and enjoying it, which is really, really good. It's good for the developer as well to get some support. I'm really glad that... Um, I wouldn't say I've put it on the map because other channels have documented this game loads, but I'm glad I've, I've shown my audience it and, you know, that's good. I keep getting requests to play Roblox, but I really do think I'd draw the line at Roblox. Um, <laughs> I just assume it's a kid's game. I'm, I'm, I'm probably well out of order there saying that. It's probably not a kid's game, but it's just the impression that I get. I've never really dabbled in Roblox. It's because my kids used to play it, you see, so I just figure it's a kid's game. So um, I'm not going to tamper with Roblox just yet. I'm, I'm enjoying the few games that I'm dealing with currently. I mean, I'm nearly 40 years old. I can't juggle too many things because I get confused now and stuff. Sam has to write my name in my jacket because uh, I don't know what it is and the address where I live, just in case I get lost and I say, well, forget for what I'm getting. So juggling multiple games is, is not a thing for me, unfortunately. It's definitely a beautiful looking ride. I mean, I keep getting told the break dance is where it's at in terms of light and package and atmosphere on this game. But yeah, I'm happy with the, the techno power. It's, it's bloody brilliant and I love it. And I'm really happy that I got it. I'm going to spend many hours on this.
it's definitely um, one of my favourite funfair rides. Obviously, I'm, I'm English, so Waltzes is up there as well. Freakouts are up there. I love Boosters. Uh, superstars are probably my number one uh, funfair thrill ride, but Extremes is probably number two. I, I really love Extremes, and we have a plethora of Extremes in this country, and really, really, really good ones. If you watched the video I uploaded Saturday, it was... Um, John Davis's new Jet Force from Hull. I've done a video on on and off ride video of that from our cycle we had at Hull, and that was mind blowingly good, absolutely fantastic. We have a lot of good extremes on the circuit, and um, one I, I need to track down is obviously Void, which is a lot of people's favourite. Looks to dogs nuts, honestly. I can't wait to finally track that down, and hopefully this year at Goose Fair. Um, I'll get to ride it. I'm, I'm really looking forward to Void. It looks absolutely amazing. I am going to be walking around like a dog with two dicks if I get to ride that. Honestly, it, it's, it's definitely my bucket list ride. But it would be so hard for me to, to choose a favourite extreme. I mean, I love Jet Force. I really like James Danner's machine. Even the one at Adventure Island, even though it's on... Um, auto all the time you know it's still a decent looking machine and then of course you've got a fighter um, oh, bloody hell crows extreme was is absolutely amazing uh, there's, there's some more as well there's loads there's loads of really really good extremes John Parrish is one that stands out as well absolutely fantastic so yeah definitely uh, one of my favorite UK traveling machines Okay, that pretty much sums the video up. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. So I'll, I'll let you watch the build up. I've controlled the ride and shown you some of this. Yeah, and I even threw in a little bit of footage of me towing the ride to the fair, which is awesome. Yeah, I just want to thank you all who have taken the time to uh, watch these videos. I really, really do appreciate the love and support that you that you've guys shown this series. It was a bit of a gamble, a bit of a risk uh, making this this type of content because it's not what I normally do, and it, it's always a risk putting different style of content out there. But um, I'm, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. I, I really am. Like I said, I, I've lost more subscribers than I've gained in the last couple of weeks due to these videos. But you know, hopefully, we can reach a new audience. Maybe we can reach the the gaming audience you know and it's not all about subscribers it's not um it's doing what i enjoy <laughs>